I'm really pleased to welcome you today on the new Leopard 53, latest power cat from the Robertson & Kane shipyard. This boat, as any other uh, catamaran from the Robertson & Kane, benefits from huge living area for socializing all together and also has excellent performance with limited size engines to reduce consumption and maintenance costs. The huge flybridge of the Leopard 53 is one of the main social area on the boat. This flybridge can be divided in several parts. The sunbed, an open space where you can do whatever you want, add some chairs or anything you want. A big table where all the guests can meet at once for lunch, dinner or a drink. The bar with the faucet, the optional plancha, the fridge and the ice maker. Forward, the main elm station of the boat. You can access the flybridge from the main deck via secured steps. The flybridge is protected as a standard by a large rigid bimini that can also be complemented as an option with an enclosure. The forward part of the flybridge is protected by a windscreen making the arm station comfortable in navigation. At the arm station on the flybridge you will see all the features uh, you would like to have to control the boat entirely and easily. The helm, the throttle for the engines, the start button for the engines, the autopilot, the large screen for the charts and also to control all the equipment, electrical equipment of the boat and also as an option the remote for the boat thruster. We can access the large aft cockpit of the Lapid 53 via the transom which are safe and secure to access easily from the quay or from the platform when uh, it's lowered. The cockpit of the Leopard 53 is well protected by a large rigid bimini. This is also an area where you're not bothering each other since circulation is made really easy. In this cockpit, you will have the relaxing place, but also the table to deal with all your guests. Notice that as an option, you can even have a larger table than this one. You can reach the forward part of the Leopard 53 directly from the inside thanks to the forward door or of course from the transom. You will find here extra solar bed, optional skipper or crew uh, quarter, the bed on one side, the headroom on the other side and of course the windlass. Notice that the, the windlass can be controlled by one single person only, no need to be two or three people to do that. You have the remote and the bridle easily accessible for one single person. The salon of the Lapid 53 is a really bright area thanks to the large window we have all around. This is also a well ventilated area thanks to the massive door at the back and the famous forward door. The salon is divided in two parts. First, the galley area where you'll have all the facilities you would expect on a boat that size or even at home. Four burners, the oven, a large sink and a drying recess. As an option, notice you can have a dishwasher or a complementary fridge, but that might not be necessary since in the standard you will have this massive fridge and freezer. In terms of storage, you will have everything you want, storage in the floor or in the different drawers, plenty of space around. As in any other Leopards, the Leopard 53 will have excellent access to any technical parts. Huge engine compartment for easy maintenance, good access to the electrical panel, and also easy access to all the water system of the boat. The forward part of the salon area is dedicated to navigation. As an option, you can have a full helm control as we have upstairs with the wheel, the throttle, the engine starter, the screen to follow the nav. If you don't take this option, you will have the city area and the chart table. The Lapid 53 was designed from start to be performant but reasonable from an economical point of view. To reach that objective, we're using two times 370 horsepower engines from Myanmar and with those engines, we'll manage to get a cruising speed between 13 and 15 knots with a maximum speed around 21 knots. Notice that at 15 knots cruising speed, the range will be around 300 nautical miles 
and at a lower cruising speed, around 8 knots, you could reach about 1000 nautical miles. We are now on the starboard hull, the honor cabin, in this Lapel 53. Notice that boat is also available in four cabin, and in that case, the starboard hull will be symmetrical to the port hull, where you have two cabins and two heads. So the, the honor cabin benefits of a large bed you can access on both sides. Also, you will notice that this cabin is really bright thanks to the large window you have into the hull. Uh, you will notice that compared to previous generation, this time we don't have anymore the engine under the bed, so reducing considerably the noise you will have in the cabin for your comfort. For more privacy, you can of course close entirely the cabin. In, in this honor cabin, you will have ample storage, drawers, including the drawer under the bed, wardrobes, and a desk. The headroom on the honor cabins has a double basin, plenty of storage, a huge shower, and a toilet. Notice that the head's compartment is well ventilated thanks to numerous hatches. We are now on the port side hull of the Lapert 53. The forward cabin has a bed perpendicular to the hull, allowing for a nice view outside by the large window. Each cabin will have uh, its own head compartment with a large separated showers, the toilet, the basin, and plenty of storage. Notice that the aft cabin will have a large bed identical to the one you have on the starboard owner cabin. Each cabin has plenty of ventilation thanks to the hatches. In the port side companionway, you will find easily accessible the main electrical panel and, as an option, the washer dryer. I was really pleased to meet you on board the Lapid 53 for the first time, and I look forward to meet you again for real that time, so you will be able to test the boat with me out at sea. See you soon.